Makers take two of three in New Jersey to win the series against Rutgers and come home victorious. Coach Boo, Dale Oliveira, Corey Palm alongside for the Purdue Softball Show this week. Uh, Coach, a lot of positives in that uh, series win, a Big Ten Road Series win at Rutgers last weekend. Uh, we'll, we'll jump right in with with that. Um, you guys took, took games one and two. Uh, came up a little short in game three, but well, going through the weekend, what sort of positives, you know, uh, you've been talking for a couple weeks, to me, talking mm -hmm. for the rest of the season with the team of how close they are. They broke through a little bit at mm -hmm. Rutgers. Is, was that the message to the team? Definitely. You know, we've been talking about how if we're good enough to keep these games close, we're good enough to win these games. And we were losing small um, or winning small. And we're just trying to put a gap between us and the other team. Um, some major positives, uh, definitely Juliana Verney coming in. And I think it was game two that she started. Hasn't had a start yet on the year. Came in and gave us a bunch of solid innings and just really pitched like a veteran and really got the team off to a great start for it. Um, also saw some really great hitting performances. Um, in particular, Olivia McFadden was just dialed in. Um, Alex Etches read it with a huge home run. Dude. There was a lot of different... A lot of different positives that came out, and I'll let you kind of get into that because I know you got a list of things. But um, I would say definitely on the highlight um, as far as new people that really stepped up, Juliana Verney. For sure, for sure, Juliana was was great in game two, mm -hmm. getting that start. Uh, uh, in game one, kind of kind of in control throughout that game, got that victory. Uh, game two, you guys had the lead, mm -hmm. let it get away, and and got pushed into extras. But Etchezaretta, like you said, with that big two two run bomb in the eighth inning to to pull away. Um, I know Rita Nuss came through with an RBI as well to kind of extend the gap and and make it make it a little bit. Of insurance runs are always a good thing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so 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 you're able to pull away in, in game two as well and clinch this series on Saturday. Uh, just you know to be able to have that uh, to be able to have that tenacity even after the game. Felt like it might be slipping away. What does that say about sort of the growth uh, uh, of the team, even in that moment? Yeah, you know the team. The team is playing well. Like we're playing some of our best softball right now, and sometimes the results don't show that. You know, sometimes you do the process, you stick to the process, you get the lead off out, you have some hits, and sometimes you come up short. Mm -hmm. And I feel like some of our games we've been playing really well, but not getting the result always. And uh, it was nice against Rutgers to finally get those two wins. And, you know, you were talking about Rita Nuss. That's another freshman that stepped up. We've been sharing kind of a spot between her and Becca Edwards. Becca starts hitting. Rita comes in and play defense. We move McFadden over to first base. Mm -hmm. And um, really just trying to put our best offense and our best defense together. And right now that's a combo spot for them, and it's been working for us. We've talked, we've talked you know, throughout the, the course of the season about Ty Jones and mm -hmm. Kiara Dillon and, Alex Etches Arada and they're they're doing their thing. Definitely. They're, they're still performing, but but Liv McFadden is is as hot as any of them right now. She's very hot. And she's she's uh with, so I've got six hits last week. Mm -hmm. Uh she's yeah. among the team leaders, uh hitting and just just a hair under four hundred in the Big Ten. Um among the leaders in RBI in the Big Ten. She's 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 really starting off conference play very well. She's just clutch. You know, we've been talking to the team about having a clutch mentality and especially her saying like, hey, you're a really good hitter. Don't let the game be bigger. Don't let the moment be bigger than it is. And just go up there with the mentality of you're better than the pitcher every single time. And she's really just been going up there and um, she's been disciplined in the strike zone, um, not swinging out of the zone and just has been seeing the ball really big and has come through in a lot of clutch moments for us. And definitely, you know, right now with having her in either the three or four spot, we always have a chance to score runs. I know last week when we talked, you were literally on your way to the ballpark yeah. when, when the show was over for the doubleheader <laughs> against Indiana. Very close in both of those mm -hmm. games. Had had you know middling leads in both of those games. I used ranked in the top twenty-five for a reason, and, and they were able to claw out a couple of victories. But but again, like you said, losing close is is a positive at times. And when you get the breakthrough like you did with Rutgers, you know to be able to pay that off, and and I would think give give the team some some momentum going forward. Yeah, momentum was actually one of the words we used for the weekend. We set, you know, we set team goals in each area for the weekend, and this past weekend, momentum was one of the words that we used. Um, and just saying, you know, when we have a great inning on defense, let's feed off of that and have a great offensive inning. Or if we don't have a great inning, let's, you know, flip the momentum. Mm -hmm. And the team really took that to heart. And um, one of the games, I don't know if it was one or two, I can't remember, seven to seven lead off out on defense. Like that's phenomenal. I think it was game two. Yes. And the team has just really taken that, you know, momentum, clutch, 
doing it together, finishing, taking those things to heart and just really trying to fine tune things. And, you know, and that's the plan. You want to play your best when you're in Big Ten. Right. So, you know, while we had a challenging preseason and we worked hard and, you know, we saw some some growing pains and some moments of greatness right now is when we want to be playing our best softball. And the Big Ten is wide open. Mm -hmm. There's so many teams that are close and getting beat, losing, small, run roll, all kinds of stuff going on in the Big Ten that it's really anybody's game. So we're definitely still in the hunt. The little things are going to matter so much more when when everybody's kind of equal mm -hmm. we're, we're gonna we're gonna welcome wisconsin to town this weekend and and i i know you were saying earlier that you know statistically there's some things that they do a little better than us there's some things we do a little better mm -hmm. than them very even once again you know it's a, it's an even matched series and uh and it's going to be the little things that matter they're a good ball team. Um, you know, they they have gap power. They're not necessarily a home run team, but they have people that can hit the ball out mm -hmm. for home runs. They have, Kayla Kahn went back um, for what seems like she's been in college forever, <laughs> yes. um, but she's Year back, nine. you know. Yeah, she's <laughs> back, and uh, they definitely have some home run power, but they're really good at short game, at squeezing. Um, they're, they're not as big of a stealing team as they've been in the past, but they run the bases really well. And, you know, for us, it's going to be a good matchup because we definitely can compete with them. We definitely can beat them. And um, we just need to come out and play our game. And I say it all the time, and it's probably annoying to keep hearing it, but it doesn't matter who steps on the field against us. It's how we step on the field. So right. we just need to play Purdue softball and be relaxed. And, you know, it'll be a, gr it'll be a great weekend. It's Easter weekend. Got a lot of families mm -hmm. in town. Um, everybody loves to play good in front of their families. So it'll be a good weekend. That's very true. Uh, you don't think about that as, you know, on, on our side of things, it's, wow, we've got we've to be the ballpark at Easter. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of families use that opportunity to come and to spend time together at the, mm -hmm. at the ballpark. That'll be, that'll be really cool. Um, one thing that, you know, statistically that sort of jumps out is, is this year it's been a, a kind of a pitching by committee approach. And you're also among Big Ten leaders in a lot of defensive categories. How much of those two are linked in that you've got pitchers who – are able to put the ball in, you know, put the ball in play, but rely on their defense, which is so strong. I think they are 100%, 100% linked. Um, can't be a good pitcher without good defense, um, and you can't be a good defense without having a good pitcher. And we always talk to our pitchers about put the ball in the zone, put it in the zone, um, make the hitters earn their way on. We want to win the freebie war, which is you know walks hit by pitch. Yep. We want to win that war every game, and we just tell them like throw with confidence, put it in the zone. You have one of the best defense in the country behind you, let them make the plays. And I feel like with our pitching staff, we're really at a point where we're doing that. We're putting the ball in play. Mm -hmm. I know I was talking with you before the show about um, Lex Panarski, who's pitching for us a lot. She's getting the ball in her hand a lot. Yep. And while her win record, win loss record might not be where we want it to be as far as wins, she is having a lot of great innings for us and keeping us in ball games and having, um, I think this weekend she had three in a row of one, two, three innings. Like she gets the leadoff out, mm -hmm. she gets the next one, she gets the next one. And she's just really, um, she's getting a lot of strikeouts but she's getting a lot of ground balls, and um, that's what you want as a defense, right? For you sure. wanna you wanna get to play the game. You know, um, nobody likes someone that's selfish and gets twenty one <laughs> strikeouts on a game. It's but boring watching that. <laughs> I, from, I mean, if we want to have base. a boring game this weekend, I'm okay with one or, <laughs> one or two. But um, in all seriousness, like we've just been really feeding the defense. You saw Maddie Ellish this past week got two of the wins for us at Rutgers, and she's the same thing, just getting ground balls, keeping the ball in the park, letting the defense work, and um, and just trusting that our hitters can hit. There was a point during the Rutgers series where I think they tied the game up and I came out to the to the mound for the huddle and I said hey like just pitch us out of the inning we have bats we can hit right we're a good hitting team you got great defense behind you just get them a ground ball and I think in that moment the pitcher was so shocked like that's all I mean just get a ground ball yeah we don't need to strike out you don't have to be a hero just put the ball in the zone let your defense work and, and they're really doing that sometimes it's a simple game yeah right too simple uh, right <laughs> yeah sometimes um <laughs> Like I said, Wisconsin coming in, I, I, is it, are you past the point in your career <laughs> where playing Wisconsin <laughs> means something more? Um, I am obviously a Badger alumni. I'm also a Purdue alumni. Right. So That's true. Um, yeah. You know, I love Wisconsin. I love Purdue. Um, I told my daughter this weekend, I said, hey, you know who we're cheering for, right? And she goes, well, you're playing Wisconsin. And I said, right, but <laughs> when do we not cheer for Wisconsin? And she said, anytime they play Purdue. I there said, that's go. right. And, um, you know, obviously I love Wisconsin, but I love Purdue. I'm proud to be mm -hmm. a Boilermaker. And I think um, the excitement is that 
you know, you, you get to play the team that you played for. Coach D gets to play Michigan in a couple weeks. Yeah, right. Um, and we're just also proud to be Big Ten alumni. Mm-hmm. That uh, for people that haven't been in the Big Ten conference, it's a completely different conference to be a part of. All of the coaches really pull for each other. Um, I know as uh, like a mom, there's just so many moms in the conference too that are always just supporting each other with, hey, we got this, we can do this, yeah. we can be competitive coaches, be moms, have it all. And uh, I would say, you know, I've worked in four of the five power conferences, four of the five power fives, and the Big Ten for sure is the most supportive in general. And what an awesome place to get to work. And then for our athletes to get to not only play great softball, but to also get a top degree. I mean, you can't beat that. That's sure. That's for sure. I, I love hearing that about coaches behind the scenes. That's something that mm-hmm. fans don't see. Even even coworkers don't yeah. understand, you know, that that sorority is very strong. Yeah, and keep in mind, on game day, like, uh-huh. we, we don't like anybody that's not no. in black and gold. If you're not in black and gold, you're not family. Coach Tiller used to say that, and I firmly believe, like, if you're in black and gold on game day, you're family. If not, um, you know, we're, we're trying to beat we're you. We're trying to beat you. But um, in general, just, you know, proud to be in the Big Ten. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, something special on Saturday, mm-hmm. it's your uh, it's your Hammer Down Cancer game. Um, special jerseys, special ribbons. It's going to be a jersey auction. We're not going to go through all the details here, but check out uh, Purdue Softball's social media channels for that, PurdueSports.com for for more details on that. but uh, And wear gold. Um, pediatric cancer is a gold ribbon, so our team will be wearing the jerseys with gold ribbon, and then we'll also give Wisconsin ribbon to wear. So come support the kids. And the proceeds will go to uh, Ch- uh, uh, Riley's, mm-hmm. Riley's Hospital to, to fight against pediatric cancer. Uh, it's something that is is pretty commonplace in uh, in college athletics. It doesn't make it less special right. for, for to, to have this, uh, this one common opponent that everybody... Can, can everyone agree can and fight we, yeah we need to fight yeah so come out Saturday for that weather's supposed to be phenomenal so uh, really really take advantage of this get out the bitten gear um, we've got uh, well we had 800 plus people yeah. at the Good IU job game. fans thanks for coming great job fans <laughs> and now you've got a number to shoot for yeah. so let's <laughs> let's beat that it's mm-hmm. a top 10 crowd let's get another top 10 crowd this weekend mm-hmm. with the Badgers come to town um, Anybody else individually that you uh, we, we've mentioned a lot of names we've we've burned through a lot of names here today. Anybody else standing out for you right now? Yeah, I mean honestly, there's been so many different spotlights that have been passed. Um, sometimes the spotlights are in the dugout too. We've had some really great dugout people. Um, I would say as far as just you know, we're hoping to run the bases more this weekend. Kira Dillon is in the top, um, one of the top in the Big Ten and amongst the country. She's really fast. Mm-hmm. Um, she's another reason to come out, hometown hero, local kid. Come support the best of Indiana, and um, she's been doing a great job with stealing bases. And then I would also just say uh, um, Tyrena Jones has just been really – she's great. Like, she is just um, an all-around athlete. I know we talked about her last mm-hmm. week, but her and, and Jade Moy in the infield just communicating and uh, really running the defense have been – it's been really great to see young players that are taking that – you know, taking that upon themselves to be kind of the heartbeat of the team on defense and really um, – I'm just proud of how much they're playing together and the fact that they're able to flush bad performances and move on to the next one really quick or have a bad at bat, bounce back on defense. Um, the failure recovery piece has been much better for us this that's, season. That's so important in this game mm-hmm. because there's so much failure in it that you have lots of opportunities yeah. every game to recover and respond, and, and it's great to hear that they're doing that. You mentioned Hometown Hero. We've got an actual one of those, uh, uh, an, oh, alumnus, yeah, yeah. an alumnus from the program, uh, Dougie, yep. Madison Douglas, who, who graduated a few years back and uh, always had her mind on law enforcement, mm-hmm. went, went back home to Frankfurt and became a, a police officer. Yep. Her and her, her and her partners pulled out a family. Um, she's up for an award for it now. She's going to be throwing out her first pitch in a couple weeks for us. So, um, you know, uh, Madison was one of the fr- one of the freshmen my first year here. And, you know, we say she's adulting now, but, um, you know, we really are proud of her and everything she's done to represent Purdue softball after graduation. And keep it up, Dougie. We're rooting you on and um, definitely really proud of you. Very proud. Great job, Dougie. So fun to hear from alumni and that they're doing great things. We know they're all over the world mm-hmm. doing uh, make, just making the world a better place. And had to had to give a hat tip to Dougie there. Coach, good luck against Wisconsin this weekend. And uh, can't wait to see you back here next week on the Purdue Softball Show.